Today we will review Iron Man from 2008. This is for this week's Harry Movie Club. So Iron Man is the first in like the new Marvel series of films, and I'd say one of the greatest superhero movies that has come out in a long time. It has Robert Downey Jr. as Tony Stark Iron Man, as Gwyneth Paltrow as Pepper Potts. Um, I'm going to be honest, I've never read any of the comics, so I don't know the backstory between them, but they do in this one do a great uh, showing of how there's like the sexual tension between them. Pepper Potts is like Tony's servant, even though she clearly, I think it's pretty clear anyway, that she wants more. She gives him the mini arc reactor back that says proof that Tony has a heart, which ends up saving him, so good job on that. But I didn't find them to be like a tedious couple or anything like that, and it was an enjoyable part of this. There's also Terrence Howard as Rhodey. Rhodey is more important in the next uh, few films, but he gets replaced as Don Cheadle, which I think was a bad choice. I really like Terrence Howard in this. And at the end, Terrence Howard's character, Rhodey, looks at one of the suits and says, maybe next time. Terrence never gets his next time, but Rhodey does as Don Cheadle. The main villain in this is Obadiah Stane, played by Jeff Bridges. And I kind of didn't realize it was Jeff Bridges, except for the voice. I always think of him as his Big Lebowski character, so I'm waiting for him to just come out in the bathroom. But Jeff Bridges is in this, and he's a great bad guy. Uh, he's also really good in the Tron movie that came out, Tron Legacy. At the beginning of the film, Tony gets caught by some, like, terrorist martyr. And with the help of a fellow prisoner named Jensen, played by Sean Toole, he g escapes. I really like the Jensen storyline in this one because it, the whole time he says, we're going to go out and we're going to uh, reconnect with my family. And when it comes time for the plan to go into effect, Jensen's family, you've learned, is actually dead. So he had planned on being killed the whole time, being a martyr for Tony Stark's uh, survival in this cave. I really like that storyline for Jensen because it did give something for us to care about for him, even though he was like a bit of a minor character. So this is definitely an action-packed movie, and uh, it's from 2008, so it hasn't been that long. The effects still really hold up. Nothing looks dated. I really enjoy how they have like the fire extinguisher arm being a little comedic. But also, Tony, it shows Tony a lot uh, being a dick to just anything around him that's in his way. He's trying to, like, fix the boot for the Iron Man suit, and uh, Jarvis, or the Jarvis-operated arm, just won't move, and he's like, fine, don't move anyway. And if you watch Cinema Sins, you'll uh, understand why it's like Tony's a dick to robots, too. So as a standalone movie, I definitely say it holds up as one of the collection for the Iron Man trilogy. I think it's really the best of the Iron Man movies I've seen. I don't really like Iron Man 2 or 3 as much. I really wish they hadn't recast Howard Terrence, but oh well. And to go along with the whole Avengers storyline, I think it is one of the more solid ones. So Iron Man, I think Robert Downey Jr. is pretty much like Iron Man in real life, the way that he just kind of acts. That's no slight against Robert Downey Jr. at all. He's awesome. Um, I really like Robert Downey Jr. as an actor. If you haven't seen Charlie Bartlett, check him out in it. It's really good. It's totally different than this, but it's a good movie to watch. The movie also does feature Clark Gregg, who is Agent Phil Coulson, which I didn't remember at all until this watch through. He really has become like an integral part of the Marvel Universe in the uh, film medium. I'm not sure exactly what his role was in the comics, but it was nice seeing him here, and then of course with the Marvel movie, the after the credits scene, I didn't know about them originally until I think it was like might have been Captain America's, because I think Thor's hammer's at the end of that one. But Samuel L. Jackson shows up at the end of this one, Nick Fury. And that was pretty awesome to see. And uh, the movie overall was pretty awesome. The music is pretty much all ACDC. Um, the explosions are great, and it doesn't ever seem like it's too really over the top. I, For the Iron Man suits, I actually like his full like chrome one, not the one that he built in the cave, but the first version that he made at his house without the hot rod red and the yellow. I like that chrome one the best. It was really good at being full action, but then there was also the nice comedic bits. Uh, pretty much the best lines were Obadiah Stane is talking to the scientist. Tony Stark was able to build this in a cave with a box of scraps. I find that to be awesome just because it shows that Tony Stark is really uh, this genius that he was able to do this with the box of scraps from what the uh, terrorists were able to bring him, but also the fact that no one else is able to match him, and they don't think it's possible at this point. So Iron Man's a great superhero movie. It has great 
character development. You get to see Tony Stark at the beginning, going from a money-hungry uh, war profiteer to be like a money-hungry peace profiteer. He is still blowing crap up and uh, still using weapons, but he's wanting to make uh, peace from his weapons rather than having all his weapons destroyed. It also has uh, the great music, great effects, and uh, the great relationships which later build in the future films. So this movie is definitely a keep. This was for Harry Movie Club. If you do feel like checking their other responses out, there's an annotation here. If you do click on that, it'll take you to a playlist curated by Mr. Harry Britt, the creator of Harry Movie Club. If you want to reach me, feel free to do so at MadLFan on Twitter. Use hashtag today we review and that will assist. You can also leave a comment down below with future ideas of what to review. Thanks for watching.